today I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes far far away beyond the sky way above the clouds it's been said that there's a haven where the stars live in a century a star haven there raced a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven reverend star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck that weird thing into the story? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so I cannot long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star run. Do it, Cammy Koopa. No, you mustn't do that. Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! <laughs> now Star Kids may rise to this haven to deliver people's wishes. wishes. But those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Hello guys, this is Geese Squad 16 and welcome to my Let's Replay of Paper Mario. Now, a classic RPG game that I did in the fall of 2013. Those of you guys have been around my channel long should know. Should know that I've, um... That, uh... I'm trying, to th I'm trying to think right now. This going on. Um, so yeah, I did a game in 2013. Um, now this is not a, was not a camcorder, but it's actually my capture card uh, uh, project. So, um, but back then I was going through a rough time um, of some personal stuff, and um, I just didn't feel like I was in the mood when I did some when I did the game back then, like in the winter months. And plus, I didn't get 100% like I did, like I, like I wanted to. But this time, I'm gonna do it justice. I want to do redo this game because the reason why I'm redoing this game is because I didn't like the way the last game turned out. So I want to do this game a lot more justice. And plus, I figured out how to record this in 480p. Still haven't done 720 yet because the old project I only record up to 240. You have a little bit better quality now, and plus, hopefully the commentary will be a lot better. And plus, I'm going to be doing 100% this time around. I'm prepared. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Enough jibber-jabbering. Uh, let's get rid of file 2. See, so yeah, file 2 has been deleted. We'll start a brand new one. We'll tap in... We'll put your tap in GS16. The Geek16 is the original Let's Play file, so... Yes, that is correct. File 2 has been created. Let's get this game started. And as you guys saw, Bowser had bro broken the Star Haven and stolen the Star Rod as well as kidnapped the seven Star Spirits. Mail call! Oh, I got some you got mail. <laughs> hey, there's Luigi. Let's see what we got in the mail, man. Hey Mario, we got the letter from Princess Peach. Ah, oh, letter from the princess. I'll read it to you, okay? All right, then let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today, Mario and Luigi. I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Well, the Peach voice was kind of horrible, but oh well. So, looks like Princess Peach has invited the Mario Bros to her castle for like a little special get-together or party, whatever you want to call it. 
sweets, entertainment, you name it. Or they have cake, or is the cake going to be a lie? <laughs> so yeah, we are heading towards Princess Peach's castle. And there she be. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like all looks like a lot of guests are already here. Yeah, it sure is. Bunch of toads and stuff. Okay. Troll is acting funny. This is one of my new controllers. What's this? Got anything to say, buddy? Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. I would say so, greeting all these guests like that, and plus she's the princess. Yeah. Okay, Mario's just going fast and then stopping, fast and stopping. One way, but I think we'll be alright. Okay, so we're just going to go through here. Our um, basic controls are Mario, control stick is to move, A to jump. There'll be other attacks later on that we'll get into for controls. So yes, Princess Peach, let's see. Okay, private chambers. He said the same thing that that one guy said. Yeah, he's walking slow when he goes forward, but side to side, it's not that bad. Oh, Mario! You came to the party to see me? You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I guess. I was just resting a bit. It gets talent greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? Of course, Mario agrees. It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh man, the voice kind of changed right there. What? What's going on? Oh, I got a big giant earthquake. Castle's rising. Oh man, someone put their castle in the Peach's cap. Oh, that's not good. I guarantee ya. I mean, we all know it. It's, it's Bowser. Rising the castle up into the sky. Uh, Princess Peach and Mario are running back and forth panicking. Mario throwing his hands up in the air like he just does not care. Holy crap, we're out in freaking space. Wow. You, you don't see that every day. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Uh, a giant earthquake? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. And here come the party crashers. Yikes. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser! What this can't be! It was, it was you who made the ground it was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha, huh, this castle's on my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me! Uh, not if we have anything to say about it. Huh? What? It's Mario! What a shock! Ha, huh, not really. I expected you to turn up. Right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's no way you can do, di do it this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you just give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Oh boy. So we got Bowser. Right off the bat, we got our first battle and it's Bowser. Mario, you can do it. I'm mean, sure it can. We've defeated Bowser. Mario's defeated Bowser plenty of times. So here we go for basic battles. You got items and strategies, but those are locked. Only thing we can do is jump. So to select it and it's like the character you want to jump. I want to attack with. Yeah, I do one damage, but. Yeah, Bowser can only do one damage as well. Alrighty, so let's do another jump again. Do one more damage. This is gonna take a while, guys. Yeah, Bowser's only doing one damage as well per turn. So, yeah, so it'll be your turn and then it'll be your enemy's turn. That's how this is gonna work. You just select whatever you want. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. 
But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my street strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. So, this is not good. Bowser's using the Star Rod to make him pretty much invincible. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Yeah, made him invincible. Oh, wow, he can actually do more damage. He did three damage that time. Well, we just want to see if we can do anything. Nope! <laughs> is that all you got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, Bowser, with the help of the Star Rod, has made himself invincible, pretty much. So, yes, he cannot be hurt, as you can tell right now. And that's all we've got. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to torture you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh! Wow. And Mario is down for the count. Down. Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes, oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, you viciousness! That's why you're the king! As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now! Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Ow, man. And Mario gets blasted out of the castle right into space. And there he goes. Oh no! Mario! Yeah, this is not good. Bowser is pretty much invincible thanks to him. Thanks to the star rod he stole. And Mario losing that battle right there. And now paying the price for it. He's falling slowly down even though he would you know if he would have entered the atmosphere he would have probably caught on fire and died immediately well he would have died out in space because his head would explode from lack of oxygen ladies and gentlemen this begins the legend of paper mario prologue a plea from the stars so a first well actual chapter this is the prologue and we see mario he's uh not looking too good. I mean, he had a big long fall from space to down here. What? Wow! Look at look what we got here. We got the seven star spirits. Oh, thank heavens! He's been gravely injured. I think he'll recover. How can he recover? He just fell like over a, a bunch of feet from the space down to the, to the earth. But Bowser has a star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather around, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please, get up. Please. Let's add something here. Oh, hello. Little Goomba. Notices. It really sounds like some something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? No, it's Luigi. What do you think? <laughs> hey, hey, wake up. Come on, up and at him. Yeah, he's not getting up. Oh, no, he won't wake up. Yep, and then she starts panicking. Run around in a circle. Oh, oh what, what am I going to do? Dad, Goompa, Goombario. Oh, well, at least we at least we we fell around a place where people are gonna help us, apparently, for well, Mario. Mario, 
Can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to, to tell you. It concerns the princess and all the Mushroom Kingdom, but sadly I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need, you, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Hmm. Hey, Mario woke up! Yay! Trying to figure out where the hell he is right now. Hey, Mr. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. Huh. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? Well, yeah. No, I saw nothing like that, and I'm sure, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario. Maybe you just had a dream. I don't know. It could be just a vision. Although maybe not, it could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Yeah, it would. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see that you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Yeah, that'd be nice. So yes, Mario's healed up, I guess you could say. Thanks to the Goombas, Mario is uh, saved. And here are the family of Goombas. Let's talk to you. Oh, land sakes, Mario. Nice to, nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just locked there asleep for so long. Yeah, well, thanks for your concern. I want to switch controls. I'm using... You know what? Classic Nintendo 64 controllers that have never been used. This is like the fourth one I've had, and it's... I can go left and right and down, but when I go up, he just goes so freaking slow. Let's talk to you. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't want you don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Oh, okay. Well, Mario has a fan of his own. Here's here's the Goomba that found us. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes at the whole at all the whole time. Alright, uh, let's go in this house right here, see what we can find out in here. This must be the Goomba grandmother. <coughs> Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You can call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I get the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goom Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Eh, grandmothers. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but... Come on, Mario. Get out there. There you go. This must be the Goomba grandfather. Oh, you stole me. Yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good, knew you pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Yeah, sure thing, bud. Sure thing, man. Alright, so... Oh yeah, when you see this block right here, this, uh... Rainbow color S block, you can hit this to save your progress. And basically when you uh, when the game is over, basically when you die, you restart from your last save point. So make sure you save every time you see these blocks, so Okay, this guy's going crazy. <laughs> Howdy Mario, feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. It's not such a shabby place. It may look a little unkempt at the moment, but I'm fixing all the earthquake damage. In fact, I just spent ages fixing this gate. Wow. You what? You have to leave right now? Oh, shoot and start summit? Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that shoot and start summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, but duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario! <laughs> Ah oh, crap! This this that it's Kami Koopa. No! 
What's she gonna do? This can't be good. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after su taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hearty one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. W what's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Oh, wow. Weird, you lewd riddle. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Kimmy Koopa. <laughs> I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to say Princess Peach. Ridiculous, laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than you than even you can deal with at this time. Here's a gift from him. What? What, is it gonna be a, a, a brand new hat? No, it's just a block. Oh, really now? <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. Oh, wow. Are you really that serious to send a block to us? Uh, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Can't be cooped by that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. That serious look on his face, though. W w what? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach again for the 100th million billionth time? Oh, unbelievable. And now you have to go to shoot and start summon and help save her, right? Uh, this could be a problem. Dad, we just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. No one, nobody else can do it. Um, oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it to fix the veranda. Go and ask him for it, will you? So yes, Candy Koopa has blocked our way and we can't get past this little block. So, we already seen Goompa. And we already seen Goompa, so we might as well just, uh... We seen Goompa, so let's actually go get a hammer so he has... Well, he has a hammer, so... And he's fixing the veranda, so... Let's actually... Oh, crap! The veranda's gone! What the heck? And Mario's gonna take, for the second time in this video... For the second time, he's gonna take a big, long fall. And... Huh. Look at the way he falls. Well, he's made of paper, duh.